All right, well, moving on now, May is known as Beef Month here in our state, and beef is a big industry in Nebraska. Yeah, it can also be a great addition to spring and summer menus. So joining us now with more on that is Marusha Jonas with Nebraska Extension. Thanks for being here today, Marusha. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good morning. So beef is uh, the month for May, right? So yep. talk more about beef. Yeah, beef is perfect month to celebrate different cuts of beef. So our team at Nebraska Extension partner with Animal Sciences Department to create these fun recipes that help educate and guide individuals on cooking beef. So this month we're focusing on flat iron steak, which fun fact was discovered by Nebraska scientists, and it's the second most tender muscle. Um, it is cost um, efficient steak, and it's perfect for grilling, air frying, and pan searing. So today I have for you uh, teriyaki beef kebabs, mm. which are loaded with summer uh, fruits and vegetables like pineapple, zucchini, and peppers, um, and can be made in, in the air fryer or on the grill in just like as quick as 10 minutes. And we're seeing what it looks like, and I, it looks really good. I'd have to try this. I love it when people serve things like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks like it takes a lot of time and effort, but I, I, it, not really, right? Not really. It's yeah. super quick to make, and then it's so colorful, mm -hmm. and it's going to be perfect on any any party table. Mm -hmm. What uh, do we need to know about this? Is this hard to make? How many ingredients are there? Um, there's only a few ingredient, ingredients. You can use the flat iron steak, any vegetables that you have on hand that kind of cook mm -hmm. quickly, and then also different fruits. Uh, we use pineapple here, but you could use peaches even. Uh, but what's important to think about uh, while the temperatures are rising outside is how to safely cook and also how to thaw meat. Um, so I have three safe thawing methods for you mm -hmm. today uh, that are approved by USDA. The f safest one is going to be thawing meat in the refrigerator where the temperature stays constant, but it does take a little bit longer. So if you're shorter on time, you could thaw meat in a cold water bath submerged underwater and then changing water every 30 minutes to keep that temperature constant. But if you're really rushed, you could use a microwave method. Uh, that method you need to uh, kind of um, follow instructions of the manufacturer of your microwave. However, the meat needs to be cooked right away after it's defrosted. Mm. That's usually the method we end up using. <laughs> yes, is the microwave is. method. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, what are some other recipes? that maybe you have like this mm -hmm. one that we could use this summer? Uh, yeah, a lot of different recipes that you can find on our website. Um, you can make uh, rice bowls, um, you can make pasta uh, bowls with beef. We also have this curry bowl that we recently created that you can find on our food website, food.unl.edu, where we share not only recipes, but also trusted information on meat, fruits, vegetables, and anything, anything involving food. Oh yeah. Okay, again, May, Beef month, so try those beef recipes out. And where can they find this one? Um, also on food.unl.edu, okay. or they also have it at the store at Low Fold Meat Shop on East Campus as okay, well. Okay, very good. good to know. All right, Marisha, thank you. Thank you. Okay. 